let's just go over a few quick tips and helpful hints in Premiere Pro. Here I have a video and this is this guy right there. Boom. Now what you can do is if you hold down instead of trying to drag up things and sometimes they move around, etc. What you can do is you can click on an asset and using the alt up arrow key, boop, boop, move it up, alt arrow key, boop, boop, move it down. If you move it down across this unlocked area, it will replace it. That can come handy in times, but let's undo that. If you lock things, here's a track that's locked. You can alt arrow up and alt arrow down. And when it hits a locked track, it won't go any further. It won't jump down into here. Let's unlock that. Here's the next key. If you hold down the alt key and you press the right arrow, boop, 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 boop. It moves the clip one frame to the left or one frame to the right. If you hold down Alt and you hold down the Shift key, it jumps it by five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Very handy when you're editing and you're trying to like move things and get them positioned. For instance, I went over to here and I wanted to position this. I could certainly move this thing. Now it's also destructive. So if I Alt Shift left, boom, it just clip that off. Take this clip and you can alt up and I just destroyed everything. Let's undo that. You can also alt down and notice it's taking the audio track and moving it down. Let's undo that. It's not going to move the video track down any further. So if I have a tune or I have something I want to put in there or something, I can definitely, let's make this full scale, I can alt this thing down. Doot, 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 and it'll just keep creating tracks until the cows come home. But look what happens when I alt up. Because this is a linked to this audio, it's going to move that up until it runs into a locked track. Let's undo all that. Do, 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 do. Those are linked. You can control L to unlink them or control L to link them back. See how they're unlinked? Let's select those two and link them. You'll see this little video audio. Now you can tell it's linked, which basically means it'll move together. If I wanted to move this audio track down, I hold down Alt and I click and it just selects even though they're linked. I go doop doop. Cool. They're still linked. Now, if I wanted to move this up, it's going to move that up over there. Well, we just Alt click there and then we boop boop. I'm sure if you practice this and use these, you can find all sorts of ways to edit. I love this. I can shift and nudge things left and right and up and down and stuff like that. And it really helps me. And I don't have to sit there and try and use my mouse to correctly position things. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.